Blessings to you, child of God. Blessings to you, family. I welcome you all to this session in Jesus' name. God bless every one of you that have subscribed, every one of you that keep following, commenting, every one of you that is a part of this family. I love you all so much and I keep praying for you. Today, I want us to look at three confirmations from God that shows you that your marriage is about to manifest three confirmations from god or you can say three signs that shows you and if you listen to all these three and you are in line with the signs it is a confirmation to you that your time has come if you are in line with one or two of the signs you just have to keep praying and waiting for the manifestation of the other signs the first sign i'm just going to go straight to it you receive prophetic messages about it you know, there's a time in your life when you feel it feels like nobody's talking to you about marriage and nobody is giving you any messages about it. But when it's towards that time, you begin to receive prophetic messages, sometimes from people that you least expected, sometimes in ways that don't even look like a prophetic message. Like someone who might not even be a Christian, just be a friend, can just say something about marriage or just tell you, I can't wait to attend yours and I know yours is coming soon and all of that. And the irony about it is that sometimes you might not even be in a relationship, but these prophetic words come with some conviction and you can feel and you know that this is true and this is going to happen. That is the first sign. You don't have to ignore those words. When you listen to words like that, if you are at a place in your life where you've been getting prophetic messages, you've been listening to words like that, it's time for you to take those words to prayer and begin to confirm them and declare them over your life. And sometimes you will just realize that you're coming across a lot of messages that are talking about marriage and it's just coming to confirm to you. You don't have to deny it. You don't have to behave as though, oh, I've waited for this for all my life. Why now? Why now? Just accept it and just pray with it. You also have to understand that when God talks to you, if you are constantly doubting that word, it will not manifest. That's why I'm saying that you should pray about it. There are other ways that God can talk to you and it might not just be a prophetic message, especially if you are that kind of person that doesn't have 100% belief in prophetic messages. God can instead speak to you through a dream. He can speak to you through vision. You can, he can speak to you through perception. There's something about it that just makes you feel like this is the time. But when God speaks to you, it's going to be very clear and you will know that that is your word. The second confirmation that God gives you is a strong desire. You just have this strong desire to learn more about marriage. And this is God training your mind to accept what is coming. Because God will not just bring something to you as a surprise. You know, sometimes what we say is a surprise was something we were expecting just that we're not expecting it to come at that time. When you say the miracle came as a surprise, you were expecting the miracle to come. But probably you were not expecting the miracle to come at that time. So God is training your mind. You begin to desire to learn more about the different aspects of marriage. You begin to get so interested in listening to the tapes, listening to prophetic messages like this, you know, even going as far as reading books, getting to teachings about it. And it's just a push from within. And you might not know that this is a push from god i want you if you're having that kind of push just align yourself with it don't ignore it go along with it get the books that you need to get listen to the tapes that you need to to listen to and let the lord prepare your mind for what is coming you see sometimes in the course of this learning you might even be scared you you get some details that make you afraid and you begin to question if you really want to go into the marriage or not but you don't have to be scared and you don't have to feel reluctant rather about it just keep pushing this pushing itself just dissolves any kind of fear so you find out that even though you are afraid you still want to learn you still want to know more don't ignore it dedicate some time to learning dedicate some time to reading about marriage and about families and homes and all of that and the third sign is that you will just start to glow yeah this is more of a physical sign the first two signs are more of spiritual signs but one of the physical signs is that you will just begin to glow differently and it's a glow that actually comes from within 
you might not be able to explain it you begin to receive compliments maybe from your partner if you're in a relationship at that time or just from people and you'll be asking yourself there's nothing i'm doing extra there's nothing i'm doing differently like where where is this coming from you will also notice it it's just a kind of anointing you no know, that comes with that season remember the bible tells us in ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1 it says there is a time for everything and a season for every activity so when that time comes when that season comes one of the signs is just that natural glow and the glow actually comes from within and it shows outward so when you see that happening know that you have entered a season and it is probably the season of your settlement hallelujah the fourth point or the fourth confirmation is that you're going to feel an urge to adjust you just want to adjust to the um the feeling or you want to adjust to the environment of being together with someone you find yourself trying to do things differently maybe it's changing your wake up time engaging in some activities you didn't used to engage in before and you might not even notice the changes that are happening in in your life until somebody brings it to your notice maybe a close friend or family member will tell you you have changed you didn't used to do this you didn't used to act this way and that is just you just entered a season and it is just the, the the nature of that season the atmosphere of that season has come upon you so you just have this urge and this desire to adjust in a manner that can accommodate another person you start finding yourself wanting to discuss other matters with somebody else you just want if you're not in a relationship at that time you just feel like you want to discuss something with someone someone that is closer someone that relates with you on a, you know in a deeper kind of relationship or you, you just want to talk some other things with your partner that you you didn't used to say before and sometimes if you're in a relationship with somebody this person will also notice these changes like there is something that has changed about this lady or there's something that has changed about this guy you see a guy at this stage will want to buy a car and he's thinking about family would this car be able to carry my wife and my children would they be comfortable he's getting a job and he's thinking about family you know a lady too in that state wants to adjust to the feeling of being a housewife that is another sign that is another confirmation that you are about to uh, enter your new season you no know, season of settlement hallelujah the fifth confirmation is that many people around you start getting married yeah it might not look like it but it is it's true sometimes god just visits your neighbor to remind you that he is still in your neighborhood so when you see that happening what do you have to do give them the best support you can give because of course maybe there might be people you know it might be people you don't know too but you're giving that support and you have in mind that you are next you know that you are next you just have this confirmation and this feeling in your spirit that you are next so when people around you start getting married don't start asking god like god when god when is my time god why is it not happening to me instead rejoice because that is a huge huge confirmation to you i want to know how many of these signs are you already experiencing now please drop it at the comment section now i pray for every one of you that have been expecting been trusting god for a connection with your partner or your kingdom spouse so you've been in a relationship and you've been trusting god for marriage i pray that it will happen speedily in the name of jesus god will touch that guy's heart he will touch that lady's heart to come to the reality of what is about to happen and i pray that together you will enjoy a good home the bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the lord you will begin to walk into your seasons of favor and blessings in the name of jesus christ amen May the Lord bless you, may he keep you, may he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you and may he grant you his peace. I love you all so much. Shalom.